Koei Tecmo has officially announced Samurai Warriors 5 at Nintendo Direct 2021. According to the latest trailer, character designs and visuals are revamped for this installment. In other words, Samurai Warriors 5 is going to have an extreme makeover from their previous entries. Truth be told, I'm rather excited to see what Samurai Warriors 5 is going to bring to the table. Another important note from the trailer, Samurai Warriors 5 is going to have more focus on the history of Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. This caught my attention and immediately brought me back to Samurai Warriors Spirit of Sanada where that game is a retelling of the Sengoku period based on the Sanada clan. So I do expect the latest game to be heavily focused on the Oda clan. Since Samurai Warriors 5 is going to have an extreme makeover, I somewhat expect the game to have roster cuts. We could see some characters from Samurai Warriors 4 being cut from this game. I can see Samurai Warriors 5 having a smaller roster compared to Samurai Warriors 4. It's something similar when Dynasty Warriors 6 came out since that game also had an extreme makeover for the Dynasty Warriors series. However, I can also see characters being cut in replace of new and more important characters. Personally, I do want to see new characters in Samurai Warriors 5. Since the game would be heavily focused on the Oda clan, I can see new characters in the game that are major players in the quest of Nobunaga Oda. In this video, I will be discussing the 5 characters I would like to see as newcomers in Samurai Warriors 5. Since the game is heavily focused on the Oda clan, so expect this list to be mostly Oda officers as well. So good evening, my name is Profar and here are the 5 new characters I would like to see in Samurai Warriors 5. Nobutada Oda was a character that I really wanted to be playable ever since Samurai Wars 3. He was the son of Nobunaga Oda and Lady No. Nobutada had such a promising career as a successor to his father. Nobunaga placed so much trust in Nobutada to the point where he was entrusted to lead a few battles for himself. The first battle Nobutada participated in was the Battle of Odani Castle against his own uncle Nagamasa Azai. According to historical records, Nobutada played a pivotal role for the Oda victory. His unit was the one responsible of surrounding Odani Castle, thus enabling Nobunaga's army to trap and capture Nagamasa Azai. It would be interesting to see how Nobutada interacts with his uncle Nagamasa Azai. His rose to fame as a worthy successor of the Oda was during the siege of Iwamura Castle. After the Battle of Nagashino, Nobutada was made as a commander in which he was able to lead 30,000 men to corner the Takeda at Iwamura Castle. Nobutada's leadership skill was recognized as a worthy successor to his father, Nobunaga Oda. Unfortunately, with such promising future, he was killed at Honoji Temple when Mitsuhide Akechi rebelled against the Oda. He died at the age of 26 without realizing his role as a successor to Nobunaga Oda. I would really love to see Nobutada Oda in action for Samurai Warriors 5. Since Nobunaga Oda is always compared as the South South of Samurai Warriors, I can see Nobutada's character being similar to that of Sao Pi. I also wanted to see how he interacts with his father Nobunaga and his mother Lady No. As a playable character, I can see his weapon being a sword and a rifle. Since the Oda are known for their rifle unit, especially at Nagashino, and Nobutada did lead an army against the Takeda, a sword and a rifle would be a perfect fit for his character. It would be very interesting as well if Samurai Wars 5 explores the idea of what if Nobutada survives Honoji. What happens if Nobutada Oda continues his father's conquest instead of Hideyoshi? That would make a very interesting hypothetical scenario in my opinion. Since Samurai Wars 5's story is going to focus a lot on the Oda, I think it's safe to say that Nobutada Oda could be a great addition to the game. The Oda was really known for their loyal retainers such as Toshie Maeda, Katsue Shibata, and Hideyoshi Hashiba. Another well-known Oda retainer who played a large role during Nobunaga's conquest was Kazumasu Takigawa. Kazumasu Takigawa was a retainer to Nobunaga Oda and later Hideyoshi Toyotomi. 
He was known for his rifle expertise as he was the one responsible for producing rifles for Nobunaga Oda. His rifle expertise led to the Oda clan's great victory against the Takeda, especially at the Battle of Nagashino. Kazumasu Takigawa was considered to be one of the four guardian kings of the Oda, along with Mitsuhide Akechi, Katsue Shibata, and another retainer, which we will get to him by the way. Due to Kazumasu's abilities, the Oda was able to eliminate the Takeda, and the Sanada surrendered to Nobunaga. Nobunaga rewarded Kazumasu with some of the Takeda's and Sanada's territories. Kazumasu also became Masayuki Sanada's leader from the Oda. However, after Nobunaga's death at Honoji, Masayuki betrays Kazumasu, thereby taking back the Sanada's territory from the Oda. At first, Kazumasu Takigawa was against Hideyoshi Hashiba, continuing Nobunaga's legacy. However, after Katsue Shibata was defeated, he surrendered to Hideyoshi. He was later appointed to attack Kanie Castle during Hideyoshi's campaign against Ieyasu Tokugawa. However, he performed his task very poorly, to the point where he decided to retire from his military career. He became a Buddhist monk since then out of shame. Since Kazumasu is an expert in rifles, I can see him being a mechanic-like character in Samurai Warriors 5. I can see him wielding a spear-like weapon since I picture him as a male version of Yue Ying from Dynasty Warriors. I can also see him wielding a rifle like Magoichi Saika. Either way, Kazumasu Takigawa should definitely get a shot as a playable character if Koei Tecmo does plan for a new character in the Yoda clan. If there is any new female character that I really want to see in Samurai Warriors 5, it is definitely Matsu Maeda. Matsu Maeda was known to be a devoted wife to Toshihie and also a crafty politician. According to Wikipedia, she was the forefront of most of the political situations for the Maeda clan. Matsu had an amazing reputation for being intelligent as well as being proficient in martial arts. It was also recorded in history that she even participated in battles with her husband. It's safe to say that Matsu Maeda was an ideal strong woman figure during the Sengoku period of Japan. Matsu Maeda was also really good friends with Hideyoshi's wife, Nene. I would love for Koei Tecmo to explore Matsu and Nene's friendship even more if they do add her as a playable character in Samurai Warriors 5. After the death of Nobunaga Oda, Matsu joined her husband along with Katsue Shibata. The Maeda clan battled with the Shibata clan against Hideyoshi Hashiba at Shizugatake. After Katsui Shibata was defeated, Matsu negotiated a peace treaty with the Hashiba clan to spare her husband and the Maeda clan. Since Matsu was a close friend to Nene, Hideyoshi agreed to the deal. It's even noted that Hideyoshi was amazed on how devoted Matsu was to her husband. Matsu Maeda was indeed the voice of reason for every decision Toshie Maeda made. I can see her relationship with Toshihie played out a bit like Zhang Chunhua and Simai from Dynasty Warriors. I could see Matsumaida scolds her husband for every short-sighted decision he tries to make. As a playable character, I can see her wielding a spear or an aginata. Since Matsu was proficient in martial arts, a spear-like weapon would definitely suit her. As a devoted wife and a fierce female warrior, her character can also be similar to that of Yue Ying from Dynasty Warriors. Honestly though, Capcom did her character justice in Sengoku Basara. I do think Matsu in Sengoku Basar was perfect both in design and in character. There are a lot of things and I mean a lot of things to explore with Matsu Maeda as a character. Koei Tecmo really needs to consider Matsu as a new female character in Samurai Warriors 5. Now, this is the only character in this list who was not a retainer of the Oda clan. However, he was a retainer to the Tokugawa clan. And since the Tokugawa were an ally to the Oda, this character would make a good new playable in Samurai Wars 5. I'm talking none other than Masanobu Honda. Masanobu Honda was a distant relative to Tadakatsu Honda. And he was also the closest advisor for Ieyasu Tokugawa. He was mostly the brains behind the Tokugawa's campaign. Although there are not much of historical records of Masanobu Honda, 
at least the ones I can find, I do believe Koi Tecmo can have fun with the idea of Iyasu's closest advisor. Masanobu Honda's main contribution for the Tokugawa was allowing Ieyasu to escape through the Iga province from the chasing Akechi army. Masanobu also joined Hidetada Tokugawa's army to march along Nakasendo towards Sekigahara in order to assist Ieyasu's battle against Mitsunari Ishida. However, Hidetada declined his advice to march to Nakasendo. Instead, Hidetada attacked Ueda Castle and suffered defeat at the hands of the Sanada. Masanobu Honda joined Ieyasu's final campaign at Osaka against the Toyotomi, which is the final battle before the Tokugawa Shogunate came to rule. Being Ieyasu's advisor, I can see him being the main strategist during the Osaka campaign for the Tokugawa army. As a character in Samurai Warriors 5, I can see his relationship with Ieyasu being similar to that of Juga Liang with Liu Bei. I also like the idea of both Hondas as Ieyasu's main retainers, Tadakatsu Honda being the muscle of the Tokugawa, while Masanobu Honda being the brains of the Tokugawa. Masanobu and Tadakatsu would also be an interesting dynamic duo if he becomes a playable character in Samurai Warriors 5. I can picture Tadakatsu and Masanobu Honda being like the Shahudun and Shahuyuan of Samurai Warriors. As a playable character, since Masanobu is a wise advisor, a sword would probably fit him the most as his choice of weapon. As an advisor and a strategist for the Tokugawa, Masanobu Honda is a great pick for Koei Tecmo to consider as a new playable character for Samurai Warriors 5. I mentioned earlier about the four guardian kings of the Oda who are Mitsuhide Akechi, Katsue Shibata, Kazumasu Takigawa, and one other important figure. That one other important figure was none other than Nagahide Niwa. Nagahide Niwa was a senior retainer of the Oda clan and later the Hashiba clan. He was very loyal towards Nobunaga to the point where he was considered to be Nobunaga's number two guy. His relationship was so close to Nobunaga that it was even told that Nobunaga considered him like a brother. Unlike Nobunaga who was known as a man of great ambition, Nagahide Niwa was a man of simplicity. He was a very gentle and honest man that everyone from the Oda clan respects him greatly. It was also noted that his gentle and quick-witted personality helped most of Nobunaga's political situations. It's rather an interesting dynamic to explore in Samurai Warriors game for Nobunaga and Nagahide. You have two close friends that were somehow opposites when it comes to their personality. You got Nobunaga who was cold, ruthless, ambitious, and Nagahide who was humble, kind, and simple. Much like Masanobu was the closest advisor for Iyasu Tokugawa, I considered Nagahide to be the closest advisor for Nobunaga Oda. Considering how Nobunaga can act very ruthless towards his enemies, especially during the Saika village assault, Nagahide Niwa could be there to restrain Nobunaga from doing even more ruthless acts. Following Nobunaga's death, Nagahide joined Hideyoshi's battle against Mitsuhide Akechi at Yamazaki to avenge his fallen lord. After the battle of Yamazaki, Nagahide became a retainer for the Hashiba clan. I would love to see a dynamic as well between Nagahide and Hideyoshi since both are former retainers of Nobunaga Oda. As a character in Samurai Warriors 5, I can see him being portrayed as a man with undying loyalty for Nobunaga Oda. He is a man of peace, but at the same time, a man of responsibility. He would do the things that he must in order to achieve unification for Nobunaga Oda. As a playable character, I can see him wielding either a sword or a spear. Truth be told, I can think of any suitable weapon for him to wield, or at least for the moment. If Samurai Warriors 5 is going to go in-depth in the story of Nobunaga Oda, there is absolutely no reason not to put Nobunaga's most loyal retainer, Naga Hideniwa, as a new character in the game. So, there you have it folks, my 5 picks for new playable characters in Samurai Warriors 5. 
So what are your thoughts on this video? Who would you like to see as a new character in Samurai Warriors 5? Let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, this is me Profar. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give me a thumbs down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.